Hello everybody, in this video we are going to make a Hello World app in Xcode 8 and Swift 3.0. So follow along if that is something that you want to make. To start we just want to create a new Xcode project. So what you do is you just double tap here, create new project. We are going to make it a single view application because we, all in, we only need one view for our Hello World. So click on next. And then product name, just name it Hello World. Uh, team doesn't matter, organization name. If you have an organization, then just call it that. I'm just going to leave it with my name, Sebastian. Or organization identifier. Uh, here it's normal to take your website and just turn it around. So if your website is sebastian.com, you put in com.sebastian. But, but again, you don't need to worry about this. Um, and then just leave everything as it is. Click next and save it wherever you want to. Now the only two files that you want to worry about is the view controller and the main storyboard. Those are the only two you want to think about for now. So the main storyboard is how your app is going to present itself, how it's going to look. And the view controller is, is the code behind um, the user interface. So everything happening in the background you write in the view controller. So here is all your code. All your code goes right here. And here your um, user interface elements go here. Now, I want you to click on main.storyboard and this is where we are going to start. So I'm just going to remove it this. And we now drag in all the elements that we need. So what our app is going to do is we are going to press a button and then it's going to say hi and then our name. So what we need is a label for displaying the output text and just drag it to the sides so that we have some space. And then you can also center the text by clicking this one right here. So now we have a label that is centered um, and then we're going to have a text field where the user can input some text, where the user can write some text. And then we're going to have a button that's going to start all the action. So this button, the only, uh, the only job of this button is to run our code, basically, or to get our uh, app to take a certain action. So I'm just going to name that button um, hello, okay? Um, what you can do in this text field is, is also write in a placeholder text. So I'm just going to write in um, uh, input your name. Okay, very simple. You click on hello and then you can also write just hello right there and the label doesn't really matter. And now we have our our interface, how our app is going to look, a very lovely app. And to write the code, we, we're, we're actually done with the interface right now. So we're going to go over to the code. And in order to do that, we click this one, this button right here. And that way we will see both this view controller and the storyboard at the same time, which makes everything much easier. Now, what we do, is we put some space here and um, everything is going to go inside these two brackets right here. So everything that we write is going to be inside these brackets or in this empty space right here. We're going to right now just forget about this. All is going to happen under here, okay? Uh, the, these are, if you don't know, is, is comments. So you can just write comments without interfering with the code. You just write it for your own purpose, really. So if you do like this, you can write whatever you want and it's not going to change your code a bit. So now we're just going to drag in the elements. So first of all, our Hello World label. So you just click on the label, then you press Control. And while doing that, you just drag it in right there and now we can name it let it be an outlet and name it um, output I'm just going to name it that it really doesn't matter again but call it whatever you want but 
for the sake of this tutorial, I would encourage you to name it output. Now the text field is where the user is going to input their text. So I'm going to drag that in also and call that input. Also going to be an outlet. Connect that. All we're doing right now is just enabling our code access to these elements. So all we're doing is we are saying, hey code, there are two elements in the user interface that's called output and input. So we, we just need those in order to access those. Now the last import we're going to do is the button. We're going to drag that in. And this one is going to be an action. So every time we press the button, we want a certain action. So that is why we're calling it an action. Uh, we're also, we can also name the button an action. I'm going to make it a UI button. It really doesn't matter. And then click connect. So now, as you can see, we have two brackets here. And every time our user presses the button, the app is going to run all the code that is, that is in here. So everything, every time our user clicks on hello, the app is going to run all the code that is within these two brackets. So now we have to find out what we want the app to do. Well, we want our this label up here to display hello plus the name that was entered. So in order to do that, we just click output. Oh, wait, I have caps lock on output and then the text of the output. So this, um, point, uh, this uh, punctuation here simply means the text of the output or the output's text. So we want to access the text of this text field and we want to set it to, um, we want to set it to, first of all, hello. This is uh, the first part of what we want our app to express. So hello, and then plus, and then your name. So the input, and then the text of the input. I'm just going to put some parentheses around that. It doesn't matter. So now every time, I just put um, exclamation mark behind that. I forgot that. It's just, we are now saying that I know that this can be converted to a string. If it can't, we're in trouble, but we know that whatever the user puts in, um, it's going to be convertible to a string. So now we have set the output text, this text field to be equal to hello plus the input in this text field. So now if we try to run the app, I'm going to run it on an iPhone 5S because that's what I've got. We just run it. Let's see, this is going to be exciting. Here we go. As you can see, the labels aren't centered, but we're going to discuss that in another video. But right now it doesn't matter all that too, all too much. And you can just put in your name, let's say it's Sebastian, click the button and there we go. It displays hello Sebastian exactly as we wanted it to. We can also make it um, George and it's going to display hello George exactly as we asked it to. We asked it to make this text field just as a recap. We asked it to make this text field's text equal to first of all hello and uh, we put it within um, ex um, such marks right here i'm not sure what they're called but we, we put it inside here just to tell um, our app that it's a string or it's some letters plus our input and in this text field right here so ha here you go here we have your 100 percent functional Hello world app. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I hope that you got something out of it. At least now you know, if you didn't know anything before, you know some basic things like how to use buttons, how to use text fields and how to use labels. So that's an awesome start on your Swift journey. Make sure that you also click the subscribe button and I will be out with new tutorials to show you tricks that you can start implementing into your apps. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you click the subscribe button and I will see you back in the next video.